Hey everybody, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. Ben and Bell here, and where are we today? Well, uh, for those of you that have been following us for a while, you know that about a year, <laughs> year and a half, going on almost two years ago now, we bought a woodland mill sawmill and just have not had the time. You've seen everything going on uh, to get it set up. I did not get one with the trailer. It was about $1,000 more, and we'll, we'll go into the specifics of the sawmill later. So what I've been working on is a platform to put this thing on. Um, one of the channels I started watching is called Sawing with Sandy, and the guy out in Canada that great setup, step-by-step. Step. It's been uh, tremendously helpful um, for what I'm doing, but I've actually done this really on the cheap. Uh, the telephone poles that you've, I've got, and you've seen them in some other projects, came from our power company. It's old poles that they've taken down. They don't need any more, so they, they're just piled up for the taking. So that's what several of these are. And I started out by putting you know, one, two, three posts and on out. Well, I guess I should start out with the dimensions. This is about 12 feet long, or 12 feet wide this way, and 22 feet long this way. The saw, sawmill itself will take up to a 17 foot log. So, you know, that gives us some, some room on either side and then about an extra five feet of depth for, you know, walking around without like, you know, trying to shimmy by the machine while I'm trying to push it along and cut wood. And here come the remaining guineas, different story. So what I did was I've got three, three sets of poles running the long way here. And I thought, well, for sure, the lumber that we have I tell you those guineas on you go they're crazy no 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 don't jump that way come on, this, no this way no 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 this way there you go good girl all right gee, 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 gee. You can go back underneath. There you go, good girl. Oh my goodness. Always something. No, no, stay, Bell. Stay. So as you can see, we've got the foam poles running and I did, I did three runs of these and what I did to keep my expense down, I got the foam poles for free. The local sawmill has coal lumber, C-U-L-L, -L, and what basically it's it's wood that they can't sell for, you know, to like Lowe's. It's not something that you would pick up like Lowe's or whatever. Uh, it's rough sawn, and most of it's five quarter, so that's an inch and a half thick. And I thought, well, okay, I got. I got a half bundle of that, and I think I paid about 125, I think, for it, and brought it out, and it made it almost all the way through this. There's, I'll show you, we'll take you around the other side and show you, there's some gaps, but my problem was, I started running them across, and I thought, okay, for sure, with, you know, 12 feet, you know, one on each end, one in the middle, that'll be solid enough. Well, I got on there, it was a little bit flexible, and I got to thinking, you know, when I get a you know, you know, what, 800 pounds? I don't know how heavy a, a big poplar tree is 17 feet long, but obviously it depends on the, si the di diameter, but I don't want that thing flexing while I'm trying to cut. That's not gonna be any good. Okay, so we had that, that flex going on, so I'm like, all right, well, in between, I'll set up another phone pole, power pole, whatever, and I used, I actually used some of the trees, some of the thicker trees that we cut down while we were working on our silvo pasture, and use those as braces. You know, put a, a big flat rock underneath so it won't sink, braced it up, ran those in shorter lengths, and put them in between. So now I can get on here and I can, I can jump up and down on this thing and it's not moving. So I did that between here and then over there. You can see Bell under there. It's, a, it's another warm day. We went from mid 60s to freezing and snow yesterday and down into the 20s. And we're back into t-shirt weather again today. We're gonna to hit almost 50, I think. So 
Bell's uh, hiding in the shade here. So let me take you around the front and show you where, how far we got with the lumber we got from that bundle, that half bundle. Okay, and you can really see here how dramatic of a slope I'm working with because this one, this is actually sitting on a rock underneath here, but it's on the ground and you saw how high, I mean, that's almost four feet high at the opposite corner. So that's, that's the, uh, the pitch we're working with. But you can see, I mean, we got, you know, this is some of the, the coal lumber and you can see, I, I don't know how well you'll be able to see there, but it's just pieces that it's just rough cut and there's checks in it. And in terms of lumber, a check is a split. So it's just not really sellable. So they, they throw that aside and they sell it on the cheap to get it out of their way, but they still get a little money for the fact that they actually milled it. So it got that whole side, most of these, and then some, they were all kinds of lengths. So some of these were not long enough to go the whole distance, but still usable. So I cut them off, you know, and you can see I've just kind of scabbed them in. And here's a perfect example of a piece of coal lumber. You can see the curve on this thing. And this thing's like a teeter-totter. So that's what I'm working with. I'm cutting, cutting those into shorter lengths so where it's usable to fill in the gaps, but I'm almost done with that. And then this stuff you see here, uh, one of our neighbors down at the bottom of the hill has a sawmill and he is building a huge barn. It's gonna be beautiful. I'll take a picture of it at some point and show you. But it, anyway, he had all the scrap and he's, he uh, said, hey, take whatever you want that's scrap. You know, he's, he just piles it up and burns it because he's got nothing else to do with it. Yeah, we, in truth, we're burning a lot of it. Bugs are starting, but you can see, I mean, this, this wouldn't even make it as coal lumber, but you can see, I mean, this is the outside edge of the tree, you know, and it slopes. So what I've actually used, I had some bigger pieces like this. And so what I did was I cut off the length of it and just used my circular saw and, and cut as straight a line as I could and filled in some of the lighter pieces in there. You can probably see them, but anyway, so this is one of those projects I've just been working on as I have time here and there. Months ago, Billy and William were over here and I had them help me lift the, the foam poles the long way. I just couldn't manage that on my own. And, and, you know, Denise and I couldn't have done it together. So, you know, Billy and William come over, ah, no problem, throw it up there. And we hammered it in place. So, anyway, you know, sometimes you just need two minutes of help from somebody and, and it makes all the difference. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna finish filling in these, these voids go back, double check, make sure everything's secure. And then we will get into setting up the sawmill. And you can see it's, uh, you know, the tarp that's over it is, <laughs> is all uh, faded away. And, you know, most of it's still in the shop. I've got it in there being, you know, where it's safe. But I'm looking forward to getting this thing set up because uh, speaking of Billy over at Permer Pastures Farm, they've got a project coming up. I don't think he's announced it yet, but I am going to help by supplying some of the lumber. I've got a lot of those trees that you're seeing up there. There we go. That's all gonna be silvo pasture, as you know. So a lot of those trees need to come down and we're gonna be able to mill some nice lumber for them for their project. And when he's ready to announce, we'll do that. And we'll uh, hopefully have the sawmill up and running. And you know, I'm looking forward to the, the sawmill itself. It's, let's say it was July of, no, it couldn't have been July 2020, huh? July of 2021. So here we are halfway through February of 23. So <sighs> it's time. Let's get this thing done. But I wanted to bring you along because, you know, in the in between the cows and, 
and the gardening and all the other projects we've got going on. I've been working on this, you know, into the dark. And all right, well, I think that's it for today. Um, you know, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, like I said, we'll get into the specifics about the sawmill itself, take you along when we start setting this thing up. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you, you know, your, your comments are, are greatly appreciated. If you have thoughts or suggestions, uh, check out if you like saw milling. <laughs> it, it really is interesting to watch a tree become lumber. It really is. So sawing with Sandy, S-A-N-D-Y. I say he's out of Canada. Great ideas. Walks you through exactly what he's done, some of the projects he's doing. And he's got a, a great ramp system to where he stages the, the logs as he's getting ready to cut. Now, he is in a... He owns it but it was a planted forest area. So he's got, I think there's sugar pine, but anyway, pine trees, mm, I don't know, however big this is, but just rows and rows and rows of them. So, it had, you know, very few limbs, very clean. I'm not quite as fortunate, but I also have poplar and a lot of other harder woods that, uh, that I'll be able to mill up too. But anyway, his, his log system is great. You know, he can stage them up there with his tractor and then roll them over with a, what they call a log dog. Log dog? Yeah, I think it's a log dog. Roll it up into place right onto the, right onto the skids where it gets cut. So we'll be doing that too. Anyway, all right. Well, again, appreciate you. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Check us out at renewedhomestead.com forward slash shop. We post our videos uh, at Renewed Homestead as well as Rumble. I think that covers it. Anyway, take care, everybody. God bless. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.